We talked about logging being critically important because that, those are the eyes to our service and we've set up the logger and we have that and we're gonna do more with that. But here's the next really big thing and it's not something that you should be waiting to do. It should be almost initially the next step in building our service and that is configuration. And I've seen a lot of nightmare around configuration. I've seen code bases where anybody can read the configuration and add configuration anywhere in the code base to the point where when some operator says, um, what do we have in terms of environmental variables or this or that or configuration, nobody knows because it's just hidden and scattered everywhere. So I don't want this configuration mess. It's got to be obvious and available what is configurable, what isn't. Now, I do also like the idea of convention over configuration. So if we can hard code things, that's even better than config. So we wanna try to have conventions first. But however, I'm gonna set up some rules that we should have with configuration that every service should have. How you do this is up to you. I'll show you how we're gonna do it. But here's some, some things that are, for me, mandatory. Number one. The only place where configuration is allowed to be read from is in main.go. That is the only source code file in the entire project that should be importing anything related to where configuration exists. We want to read in configuration at the start of the app in main.go, and we want to pass that configuration with the highest level of precision wherever it needs to be. Number two. All configuration should have a default value that at a bare minimum works for the dev environment. I should not need to bring on a new dev. I should be able to bring on a new dev, tell them to clone the repo, and it should run, minus this one exception. If, we're, if we are requiring that they get some sort of um, personal key, for something, then they have to go register it, but it should be very, very clear where they go for those keys and then how they store those keys in their dev environment so they don't leak sort of secrets. But other than keys, there, everything else should be a default value that works in the dev environment. So we're not spending days or weeks trying to get a dev environment up and running for a new dev. Ideally, those defaults in a perfect world also work in staging and production environments. So the less that has to change from a default perspective, the less configuration an operator needs to worry about over time in different environments. So we wanna work really hard for the default to, to match across all the environments when possible. We wanna work hard towards that. Number two, the service should allow for dash dash help, where the operator can see everything that can be configured, the default values, and then how to override any default. And any configuration should be overridable by an environmental variable or a command line flag, the command line flag taking precedence first. So if you wanna use a file for config, that's fine, you still need to support environmental variables and command line flags because an operator should have that flexibility to change something when they need to. Um, and we should also, when the application starts up or the service, we should dump the configuration that we're using and have the ability to either hide or mask um, some configuration that needs to maintain privacy. Somebody made a joke yesterday that logs or for leaking um, perfect mark. Somebody um, made a joke yesterday that logs are for leaking credentials, right? I, so we need the ability to be able to either hide or mask those sorts of credentials out of the log. If we do all of these things, we're gonna have a very nice, clean configuration system that um, just won't cause problems in the future. So when I was trying to implement all of this, there wasn't one package that did everything. 
So I built the Arden Labs Conf package to do all of this for our services. So basically, it's going to be one call to parse. And we get command line flags, environment and, and, and command line flag overrides. We have masking to be able to show config. And it's extendable. So if you want to use YAML for your config or something else, you can extend it. And we have YAML support already. I try to keep things simple until I can't try to stick with just default environment and, um, and command line flags. For the full course, visit courses.ardenlabs.com.